Okay, well this is uh, Walter Brown's uh, toko toko that he asked me to make for him. And uh, it's uh, a modern toko toko, it's uh, carbon fibre, uh, it's adjustable, it's spring loaded and, uh, and it's made out of um, one, two, three, four different uh, timbers from around the world. Uh, at the top here we have the um, uh, some ancient tōtāra. Uh, for this segment we have some padauk from Papua New Guinea for this one. We have some olive, um, very ancient olive from the Holy Land. This piece came from Jerusalem, an old souvenir I brought back. And then we have some silver ash from Australia. And that's where Walter and Walter Brown and I both met each other um, through our connection with Australia. <coughs> On the Fedor Shaliampin, a Russian ship, uh, we met uh, back in 1974, travelling from Sydney to New Zealand. And um, so it's, uh, it's got, it's got uh, a lot of symbolism to it. It's got a teaching um, uh, walking stick as well as a, a healing walking stick. And he can use this to teach the faith. At the end here, uh, number one, we have um, uh, a little chip of gold tile from the uh, dome of the Shrine of the Bar. My son Raj was uh, working on that, so restoring the shrine uh, with Bruce Hancock. And uh, there's a little chip there of the old tile, which has been inlaid by Alex Sands into a nice piece of uh, South Island Ponamu. And then we have the nine-pointed star, uh, Tōtara. Uh, and then the uh, the handle part, uh, the palm handle part, you open it up and uh, you have a, um, a compass for your bushwalking or tramping or for finding uh, Baji and uh, a little uh, display of there of the timbers and the year it was made be 170 uh, with the greatest name, <laughs> the Baha'i symbol. Um, now going down from the Tōtara head of the handle, you have the Padauk uh, from Papua New Guinea. And here we have the, um, for it, as a teaching tool, progressive revelation. So the ancient faiths, this is the eternal faith of God, ancient in the past, and e eternal in the past, eternal in the future. So we have the prophets that we don't know about in the ancient days. Then we have um, Adam, Abraham, Krishna, Moses, Buddha, Zoroaster, Christ, Muhammad, the Bab, and Baha'u'llah, etc., 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 into the future. Uh, Baha'u'llah prophesies that there have been many prophets in the past and there will be many in the future each time mankind turns away from his divine reality. He has sent a prophet to guide him on the straight path. Here we have the, uh, the greatest name, the uh, Baha'i symbol, which is on the side of the Shrine of the Bab, which represents the uh, world of God, the world of man, the world of the prophets in the middle, and the Holy Spirit connecting the three. The two stars represent Baha'u'llah and the Bab. Moving down, we have the, uh, <coughs> the globe, it represents the globe of the world, and this is, an, um, is the Holy Land olive. And uh, Baha'is are enjoined to say Allah Pa 95 times, so I put a little gauge in there, and then Allah Pa, 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 Allah Pa. Round and round and round we go until we come back, and that's 19. Say that five times, five nineteens, ninety-five. Then we're coming down to this segment here. This is the uh, silver ash from Australia. And at the top we have the, the black, the white and the red, which is the prophecy of um, uh, King Potato Te Whero Whero. talks about the three threads, the black, the white and the red. And when they are, th are threaded through the eye of the needle, then we will have Kotahitanga, unity. And here we have um, three... Um, <clears throat> the three strands uh, coming through once again on this part of the stem there is a quote here from Bahá'u'lláh Mite Waho uh, in the first chapter which is uh, Bahá'u'lláh in the New Era Kua puta mai te oatitanga o na iwi tatoa o te eo 
um, the, the promised one, Te Oatitanga, uh, on Iwi, of the tribes, of all the tribes of the world, has appeared. All right, so that's that prophecy there, or that statement from Baha'u'llah, that, that the promised one of all the tribes of the world has appeared. And um, then we have room here for um, Walter Brown's uh, Whakapapa, which I'm going to finish in the next few days and have it spray lacquered. And, uh, and that's it. It's extendable, carbon fibre, so it can be adjusted. And uh, you can have it short or tall or whatever. And that's it. And presented to Walter at um, uh, the next feast. Um, I don't even know the date. What's the date today? 20, 29th. There's a feast coming up, isn't it? 29th yeah. of <coughs> July, 2013. End of the school holidays. Mm -hmm. That's it. And you've made this on a lathe? Yeah, it's been turned on a lathe. It's been poker burned and uh, it's power inlaid. And um, it'll be um, uh, spray lacquered. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful piece of work.